Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find, download, and install free fonts for use in programs such as GIMP, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, and Adobe Photoshop. So in order to find free fonts, the best location by far is dafont.com. When you come to this website, there's going to be a lot of different categories you see up here at the top, but generally speaking, if you're doing normal kind of stuff like YouTube thumbnails, what you care about is going to be under the basic category. So that's going to be either serif or sans serif fonts. So with a serif font, uh, those are the ones where you have little knobs at the end of a line stroke, whereas sans serif don't have that. It's more of the straight line stroke. With sans serif fonts, you tend to get very straight lines and it will look a little bit blocky, so they're pretty good for things like titles, in my opinion. Now before you start browsing, you're probably going to want to hit more options so that we can filter out the ones that are not free. So if you want to only search free fonts, then you should check public domain, 100% free, and optionally you can also add in donationware, which are fonts that will take donations. Uh, but free for personal use only applies for you if you are not monetizing your content in any way. So if you're doing YouTube videos, free for personal use does not actually permit that, technically speaking. So if you search that, um, those three, Donationware 100% free and public domain, you'll get a really big list of fonts that you can use. So, for instance, Baby Snowy, that's one I commonly like to use. And you can just come down here, find the fonts you want. You can see that there's 32 pages that are available for you to use based on those categories. Of course, there's many more fonts on the site as well. So just find a font that you like here, and once you hit the download button, it's going to give you a zip file. So we can stick that on my desktop. If you open it up, there'll be either a .otf or a .ttf file inside of there. It's just two different formats for fonts. But if you open up that file, uh, regardless of which operating system you're on, you're going to see something very similar to this, which is how the font will look at different sizes and all the characters that are inside of that font. You're going to want to hit the install button. Oh, apparently I already have this one. So anyway, yeah, you hit install. And once you've done that, it's actually not going to show up inside of any programs that are already open, such as GIMP. What you actually have to do is restart the program in order for that new font to show up. Because generally these programs like GIMP, every time that they load, they add in new fonts. You can see here where it says fonts this may take a while. GIMP loads in fonts when the program starts. And I believe it's similar for other programs like uh, Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop. So once you've restarted your program, you can open up your file. So if you have some text you want to change to the new font, just select the text. And then type in the name of the font, the bold font, bold version. And now we can recenter this text and my document. And there you go, that's how you would find, download, install, and use new free fonts for programs like GIMP, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, and Adobe Photoshop. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, I hope you guys got something out of this video, and I will see you guys in my future video content.